CBS's Steve Hartman goes on the road for an out-of-this-world experience, and he's bringing his teenage son along for the ride. You go, kid. For the last six years, seven months, and 15 days, my oldest son George has been patiently waiting, waiting and hoping for the clouds to clear and the sun to shine for his second chance at a once-in-a-lifetime experience. It's like when you see a good movie and you go and see it again. One time just isn't enough to capture the true majesty of it. I think it started. I think so. Back in 2017, George convinced me to take him to the last solar eclipse. At the time, he was so into astronomy, he took his planet book to swimming lessons, dressed up as the solar system for Halloween, and made his third grade New Year's resolution to get a shrewd idea of how the multiverse could be real. It's basically a theory about having not one, but an infinite number of universes. And you'd like to understand it better? Yeah, which I already have done. Would you explain it to me someday? I will. George was nine back then. Today, he's 16. He rarely reads about astrophysics anymore, but his desire to witness the moon's day in the sun, the sun has not waned. It's almost like some great higher power pushed down on a dimmer switch on the universe. It does not seem like a natural occurrence, and yet it is. I have to agree. It does feel like another planet. But for parents like me, the more awesome sight is the joy on the faces of our precious Earthlings. Oh my God, it's so dark. Assuming no clouds. Is that devastation? Of course it is. I mean, it's an eclipse, but so much of life is learning to cope with that devastation and find beauty where you might have trouble finding it. And that would be spending special time with your family. I'm not going to dignify that with a response. <laughs> a teenager agreeing with his parents in totality. Look up there! Perhaps the only thing rarer than a solar eclipse. Steve Hartman, CBS News, on the road. Oh, my.